And uh, an interesting special skill fell on my side of the fence. Now, pe- people that are, you know, devout listeners or analytical mm. listeners to this podcast would know, hmm, sometimes the guys, sometimes the skill's just happening. Other times yep. it's being uh, audited yep. and poured over yes. and analysed and auditioned before it happens. This is one such skill. A, a young man was put forward by his friend that has a special skill that is Mario Kart related. Oh. Now, Ooh. we have a young mm. man on our team. <laughs> we do, don't we? His ears have pricked up. Yes. And Would who, you like him to come you know, in? Yeah, just like Mike? he's had a mushroom. Go on in. He's got a little bigger <laughs> as he walks in um, because he... He's our gamer. He's our gamer. Mike yep. is our gamer. Gamer Mike yep. is jumping on the mic. Hello, How are you, Mikey. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming in the room. <laughs> it's thank good to be back. Me, thank you for having me come in. Um, um, Mike, so when when you hear that someone um, has a Mario skill, without yes. even telling you what the skill is, what percentage chance do you think you have that you could also do the skill? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm too confident with Mario Kart. I'm more of a crash team racing kind of guy. I think that's the superior kart racing game. Okay. Um, but I I mean, I'd be willing to hear it out. What are the chances that, what level of impressed you might be? Like, it's a higher bar, isn't it? Well, I I mean, is it a is it a time trial kind of thing? Does it mean he can race? Is his skill that he can race the time trials fast? What if it was? Um, well, I've done, I've done all the time trials in crash team racing, mm, so yeah. I'd be willing to do a crash team racing theme. <laughs> Hang on, are you trying to change? <laughs> you are so pivoting the game. To do okay. crash team just, racing. just for someone who has Can no you... idea what crash team racing yeah. is. Hey, by the, way, Mike, by the way, yeah. everyone knows Mario Kart. Yeah, no, no one, one knows, knows crash team, team racing. racing. Doesn't that, well, isn't that a giveaway that Mario... emails to explode this week? Because okay. is, the crash yeah. team racing support is going to be huge. Do you know crash isn't team racing? Isn't that a giveaway game? that... Jack, I, you're, you're I kind don't know. You're kind of borderline nerd. You kind of sometimes... He's I'm a not a head. gaming nerd. Okay. I, I was a Pokemon nerd as well. But mm. I played. The only time I played Crash Team Racing was at Mike's house, and I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to play because like when you it. play somebody, like it, when you play somebody who has the game, they win yeah. easily. Yeah. And I said, "Well, you'll win easily." He's like, "No, no, it'll still be fun." And then he won easily. <laughs> and it wasn't and was fun. It fun? I, he was f- throwing the equivalent of the turtles in Mario Shell at me. What's the Crash Team Racing version? Uh, I can't even remember. I haven't played it for a while, but I'm confident oh, I'd be really good at it. Wow. So it sounds a bit derivative of Mario Kart. Yeah. So yeah, it was certainly the the PlayStation alternative to Mario Kart back in the day, but they right. remade it recently. So is it Crash Bandicoot? Correct, yeah. Crash oh. and all these pals. Yes. Oh, the team. Crash, yeah. <laughs> is there enough in that world no. to fill out what you no. would call a all, team? All I played, I clocked Crash Bandicoot on the, the yeah. original PS. I can't Do you remember, remember any other? can't remember a single other character in the world. There are there are a lot of characters in the game. Even Name them. Sp- Spyro the Dragon makes a guest not appearance in this one. familiar with him. Hang on. <laughs> so he, he's not hang on. He's so there's a Crash dragon. Bandicoot. Isn't there a dragon in King, King Cooper? King Cooper? That's Bowser. In Bowser's Japanese, name. his name is King Cooper. Um, right. Thank you. Get your facts right, guys. Well, so. I try to be I try to be inclusive of the, our yeah. diverse listener base. <laughs> so I'm so sorry that I didn't whitewash it for you. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get back on track. Because um, who else is in the team? When you say get your facts, <laughs> there's, there's Crash Bandicoot, there's Coco, yeah, he's <laughs> Crash just lead off with him. Yeah, yeah. there's Doctor Cortex. He's the what bad guy. He? He's the Cortex. bad guy. Isn't Neo that, Cortex. Isn't that a, a, a fleecy jacket? No, Cortex. That's, Go- that's Gore-Tex. <laughs> Co- Cortex. Is, is <laughs> Dr. Not- <laughs> Doctor Gore-Tex is waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> right, Cor- right, okay. Cortex is what the grooves in our brain is are called. That's and right. That's why his name's Neo Cortex. <laughs> I'll be the judge of what smart. mine's called. Thanks, mate. <laughs> but yeah, there are lots of the, the Crash Bandicoot uh, world is very expansive. Oh jeepers! Hey, I mean, you've, by the you've way, listed, you've listed one character I knew, which is Crash Bandicoot. Yep. Now, by the way, Mike, yeah. um, I don't think the grooves in our brain are called our cortexes. I think it's um, cerebral you know, cortex, isn't it? 
I yeah, did, it's a lobe. I did year it's a diff- the different lobes. Oh, right. So oh. watch just while we're talking about emails blowing up this week. <laughs> yeah. You watch the neuroscientists get onto that one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> dear Hamish and Andy, on a recent episode, you called a groove of the brain cortex. I really hope it's not the name of the groove. <laughs> I'm, I'm dug in sure, on that one. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, let's. Do just, you know what? We're probably a step back. We are a long <laughs> way off topic here. I reckon there'll be more crash team racing support in the emails than guess what, mate? Cortex. We're not talking about this <laughs> game that no one's heard of. We're actually talking about Mario Kart, the, the game that, that everyone everyone's... Has. Exactly. As a non-gamer, have played it. Love it. Have played, are familiar with. Yeah. Here's the skill that um, Sam's mate Tom can do. Hmm. He can hear the soundtrack from any Mario Kart circuit and tell you the track. So he can hear the music that goes with the track and he can tell you the track. Uh, is that impressive? Uh well, I couldn't do that, but I could do it with many other games. Like, okay. I could say this is the theme from this world. But, like, there are lots of tracks in Mario Kart. They all have unique songs. Well, Tom's standing by. Tom, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, Tom. I hope that you're not paying per minute for this phone call. Yeah, if you're calling, on a phone card. Yeah, calling <laughs> from bloody America or something. Tom, ahoy to you. Ahoy. Um, I'm still awake. <laughs> Just. Tom, we went, we had a slight detour. We would, um, as we were sort of like driving Melbourne to Sydney and accidentally went through Perth to talk about crash team racing. <laughs> but so do you know this, the crash bang racing? Or- <laughs> <laughs> crash bang water race. <laughs> do you know crash bang water race as well, that game? I have no clue. You've never heard no of does. Crash, no does. crash team racing? Is that what it's called, Mike? It's called crash team racing, yes. yes. Tom, have you ever heard of it? No, no clue. No, no one has. Yeah. Anyway. Well, um, I mean, I, I feel like most gamers would have heard of it, so I'm already sceptical about your gaming prowess. Tom, how many, <laughs> Tom, forget the negging from Mike, how many tracks in Mario Kart? Um, there would be, you've got the, the Grand Prix tracks and then you've got a few extra tracks that you have, like, a few mini games on. Just a um, number. Just, 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 I mean, sorry, sorry to wrap you up. You know, all, the, all my patient yeah, I mean, credits. Got, we've got, got to give some floor to Tom. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tom, but my patient got waned, got stolen from Mike over here, banging on. 30, 32 Grand Prix tracks. Oh, okay. So that gives me an idea of 32 songs. That's all he knows. He knows 32 songs. Is that is that? Oh, boy, impressive? Tom, I, no, I've, I feel like we've got, we've had Mike in here um, you know, going on about Crash Bandicoot Kart. Mm. And <laughs> why didn't they call it Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. <laughs> too late? Is it if, too you, late? If, you, if you love him so much, Mike, why don't you like, send him a letter and tell him that? It's probably not too late, Mike, because no one knows about the game. <laughs> you could re-release it. It's only been played by one person and his friend who didn't have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Think about um, it, Mike. So... 32, he's, 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 he's remembered 32 songs. Tom, is it an impressive skill when you when you show it to people? I think if they're familiar with Mario Kart, the songs can kind of blend together a bit, so mm. the expertise is, is picking up on those small little details. Okay. What, are the, what are two of the songs that are closest together? <laughs> what tracks? Well, there's four Mario, or there's, there's three Mario circuits and a Mario raceway, and they all kind of sound the same. Okay, okay. But you were able to pick them? <laughs> yeah. Mike, does that impress you? Well, the 32 number, is that just coming from the most recent iteration of Mario Kart, which is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Because there are seven more before that. This is from the Nintendo Wii. I'm, I'm oh, a so bit old school. Mario Kart Wii from 2007, that's 14 years to learn 32 songs. Get so. him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> And he's just finished. <laughs> Mike is not helping anymore, I don't think. No. Yeah. no I, think Mike, Mike, I think Mike's cost Thomas Mike, Mike, the Get show. out. Get out. Thank you, Mike. Good good it, knowledge of the date of release, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But um Tom, it's, it was unfortunate, but this is the kind of rigor we have to put these type of tests through yeah. because we've got our resident gamer here who does know his stuff. Um, and I'm just worried that it's not going to make muster. Still a great special skill, but, you know, is it more of a amateur sport rather than 
kind of Olympic level? I would argue that it's it's towing the line a bit. I don't think it's a clear cut special skill, but right. uh, in the right audience, it'll be appreciated. <laughs> yeah, to the right audience. <laughs> and I, but that's, that's, that's that is a good point because what we try and do with special skills, it's like the Olympics. Yeah. It's sort of like, well, I don't watch rhythmic gymnastics all year round, right. but every four years, yeah. I will appreciate the best. Yes. So. Really, the Olympics is about kind of taking niche sports and making them wild, widely accessible. So that's what we do, yeah. yeah. By your own admission, I suppose you, if you are saying, okay, wouldn't might not be widely accessible. I'd like to offer you this chance, mm. Tom. Since Mike has been the cause here of perhaps um, taking the wind out of the sails a little bit, mm. would you like to uh, issue Mike some sort of video game challenge? Oh, some great. sort of. Um, it can be Nintendo based. I know he's got a Switch. It can be over in the Crash Bandicoot system, although I'd suggest not. That no. seems to be his specialty. Yeah, good luck finding it. Um, and he's got the only copy. <laughs> yep. Uh, would you like to? Do you reckon? What What do you think you could beat Mike at? Oh, would you think... like to nominate the challenge, or it could be like a it could be a quiz based challenge too? Uh, yeah, a quiz on on Mario the World, maybe. Like Mario a Mario World. the World quiz. How do you feel about that, Mike? He's, not, he's, he's, he's just immediately nodding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, we'll, you can't we'll, smoke a cigar in here, Mike. We, <laughs> we will book this in. Um, Next week, do we take? Do we? Does he take on the Mario the World quiz? Yep. Let's do. We'll that. organize. Tom we'll, versus Mike. It'll be a showdown at noon. Mm. Um, and uh, bring your bring your best facts. We'll work out. We'll tell you during the week. What you can't study it up. Actually, we will just tell you on the day what the contest will be. Mate, Tom's Tom's going to study. He's spent the last fourteen years learning thirty-two songs. He's exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Tom, thanks very much, mate, and uh, we'll come back to you. Cheers, lads. Cheers, mate. Oh, Mario the World Quiz. Hey, and this showdown uh, was set last week. It's so exciting. Tom joins us back on the line. Ahoy to you, Tom. Ahoy. And Mike is here as well. Who's our resident gamer? Ahoy to you, Mike. G'day, everyone, including you, Tom. Mike. Hey, do you want to set the scene from what happened last week? In a nutshell, mm. Tom was nominated by a friend of his that he had a special skill that he could hear some music from Mario Kart and immediately name the track. Mm. Um, Mike threw quite a lot of shade on this. In fact, so much shade, we had to get pen lights out to leave the studio <laughs> and see what was going on in here, claiming that all, all that Tom had done was, was memorise 32 songs in, you know, a decade, and he yeah. didn't think that was impressive. It then escalated into a who knows more about Mario Brothers mm. um, sort of face-off. We know that Mike he is a huge aficionado when it comes to both Pokemon and the Nintendo Mario world. It was decided that if Tom could beat Mike mm. in a general knowledge quiz about the Mario Brothers universe, he would earn himself a coin. Have I got that correct, Mike and Tom? That's correct. Yep. Okay. I thought we would we were doing it to test if he could do the skill, but I'm happy for the coin to be the, the no, result. No, it was a quiz. It was a Mario it, quiz. It, it, yeah, but he's a coin's on offer for him. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's all right, Mike. Yeah, you're, try, I, yeah, I you're, do, you're, I, I, you're trying to defend a you're coin. You're defending the okay. vault. Yeah. Now, um, Haim, you've got the quiz. I've got the quiz. I've, I thought I had a contact with Nintendo. Mm. I can't find their details. I was going to get them to do the questions. So instead, I have gone deep, deep into the world of Mario. I think I've got some unanswerable questions here. I'll be impressed if you guys can get these. <laughs> so should we do it like a penalty shootout in soccer? You know, the Euro's just been on. Um, oh, one for one. So we go one for one and five each. But if it gets to a point where the other one can't win, um, yeah, sure. they win. Great. Does that work? Yeah, that works pretty well. Um, okay, shall we? Uh, quick question, Mike. Yeah. Um, I'd like to, if we can, off the off the top, give a tip of the hat to Tom, yep. who rattled you during the week. Got one of his friends to rattle you, didn't he? Yeah, uh, Tom got one of his friends to <laughs> <laughs> to o- offer me I, to offer to donate money to me, yep. um, and then rattled me by saying that you that I suck at Mario and I'm going to lose the quiz. <laughs> How, so did you get sucked in? So you did what, t- what Patreon or something for I, your yep. podcast? And Licking then I, your lips for your Patreon. <laughs> I, I, I sent him a PayPal link and he said he would donate me $100. Mm, you were thrilled. And then, and then he threw it. But, but afterwards, this is not a joke, the rattle diminished when he told me that he actually said Tom is very 
very unconfident about today Ooh. and he still donated $10 to me. <laughs> <laughs> so he sent me $10. Well, that's nice Less of, of a him, rattle, but more of a massage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what he's feeling and you've got to fight through that mm. is you can feel like an absolute a-hole when you do the rattling. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that's need, true. You do need to <laughs> s- yeah. it's, wonder, it's actually stick, one of your... Stick fat. One of, one of your um, most uh, admirable times, I think, mm. Ando, is just the persistence to unblinkingly <laughs> sit through the letdown at the end of the rattle, knowing that it's serving a greater good. <laughs> yes. uh, Tom, um, I think you definitely rattled Mike. Don't. He's just trying to get a small one back. Were you happy with the rattling? Well, my mate didn't tell me that he ended up donating. My mate just said he rattled Mike, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah. he, he also apologised. Yeah, it happens. You can't, <laughs> take, you can't, you can't take Mike's word for yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's jump into this now. Mamma mia! It's me, Mario! Wee-hee! Tom and Mike. <laughs> They've picked a game that they agree they both like. <laughs> but who is stronger in this epic fight? <laughs> Of who knows Mario, is it Tom or Mike? Tom, Tom or Mike? Let's go! <laughs> oh, okay. Hamish, fire question away one. with question one. Who are you going to give the serve to, Ham? Mike. <laughs> Mike, what is Yoshi's real name? Oh, I Full just, name, please, Mike. I just did a quiz online and this Let's is hear it. one of the answers. Three, two, one... <laughs> T. Yoshisaurus Rex? No, it is T. Yoshisaurus. Can I get the steel? Oh, of Ooh. course, sorry. Yes, I haven't actually said anything Mike didn't say there, but you can have the steel, Tom. T. Yoshisaurus Munchasaurus. Oh, so Muncha Koopa. So Muncha Koopa. Yeah, he's got it. Muncha Koopa. Oh, <laughs> I will give that. T. Yoshisaurus yeah. Muncha Koopa. Okay, one nil up to Tom. Okay, Tom. And Mike, which we realise is it. not a penalty shoot. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, yeah. Can I kick it? <laughs> the goalie's asked if he could kick it in. <laughs> kick it in. Into his own goal. Into his own goal, and he's decided and not he's to save it. his own kick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he saved himself. Interesting. Let's, let's, uh, let's keep with. Do you, you like the, this do you want format? the seal or no? You're, you're, you, you, you decide. Well, you, I mean, you, I just had it as a straight up quiz, so. Okay. Jack. Let it, yeah, steals could remain. Steals remain. Steals remain. Okay, remain. So Tom is and one so up. Now, so now the serve goes to Tom, yep. but the steal's there for Mike. Yep. And Mike, if you know it, don't make any noises, because I know you'll know some of these. So no, just, I won't. Just, okay. I won't. But you can yell out, ooh, I know this. That's the only thing I'll permit, because <laughs> I think that's fun for the sport. Okay. <laughs> Tom, what was the censorship that happened for Bowser and Peach for their victory celebration from the Japanese version of Mario Kart before it went to the US. The so they did so they did something when they when they won the race they were celebrating and they had a they had a celebration like animation in the game and it, got and censored. it was censored it okay. got censored it got changed. Mm. Mike um, you're making some noises. <laughs> I got no clue so I'm just going to go with the some type of dance. Okay, yeah, Not Mike. enough info unfortunately Mike. Was it a peace sign? It was not a peace sign. Oh. They were drinking champagne. Uh, and they got changed for the US market. They didn't. Mike, they don't didn't go, of that. course, like you knew. That was. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> if it wasn't peace, it was that. <laughs> um, back to okay, Mike. Okay, back to Mike. Mike, when Mario arrived on the scene, what was his job? Uh, his original job was a carpenter, I believe. He's got it. He's got oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> One all. Yeah, okay. Tommy. Super Mario Kart originally started out as a sequel to which game? Mario Kart. Mm. Donkey Kong Kart? <laughs> Mike, you're laughing. Well, that's not a game, so it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yes, you have earned the right to snigger. But would you like to have a crack at the question? Uh, I guess something like Nintendo Racing. No, it was a game called F Zero. Oh. No. oh, okay, interesting. I remember F Zero. I, I do know F Zero. Yeah, yeah, but it, but the, they could, there wasn't enough memory uh, to make the tracks long enough, so they had to shorten the tracks, and then they went, well, if we're doing short tracks, let's have a slower car. So they made it cut. Interesting. Okay. Does Mario? Oh, so who's this? Who's this? This is going back to Mike. 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 Does Mario have a last name? And if so, what is it? 
In the live action film, Super Mario Bros, Mario's surname was Mario. So it was Mario Mario. And that is what I would answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And are you? And yes, are I you am, answering it? I'm going to lock that in. in. Mario Mario. Wait, un- you're correct. In the movies, he does have the name, although the creator, Shigeru, Shigeru Miyamoto, M- Miyamoto mm. claims that officially Mario has no last name. Ooh. So if How you... are we feeling about that, Jack? <laughs> it's a bit of a dog question. <laughs> yeah, it's a dog. Oh, well, you tell me to go as hard as I could, Are Mike. we giving Mike... Well, Mike, point, would you go against Shigeru Miyamoto? Um, well, I think the question was was vague. Does he have a surname in the live action movie? He does in the in according to the creator, he doesn't. You didn't do that second bit. <laughs> the, <laughs> yes, he's I doing the second bit now. What are you saying, Ando? Give Mike another question. He can't have that one. Mm. Still, still with Mike. <laughs> Mike. Yes. The Nintendo Corporation owns the rights and intellectual property to two porn movies that are a spoof, pardon the pun, of the Mario world, (laughs) starring Ron Jeremy. They bought them in the 90s to ensure that the titles were not distributed. They squashed it. Mm -hmm. Do you know the name of those porn movies? (laughs) Spoofer Mario Balls or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Your mum will not no, be pleased. It's That's a trick Tom? question. Tom, would you, <laughs> do you, Tom, have to would you like to steal? I do know this. It's Super not a trick question. Hornio Brothers. Yes, Super Hornio Brothers 1 and Super Hornio Brothers 2. Well done, with the two porn movies. Well done you, Tommy. You're perfect. Not, not, <laughs> not Great spoof, stuff. spoof on my ballsy-o brothers. Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to Tom now. He's got a 2-1 lead. Um, Tom, Super Mario Kart was the game that in which character appeared for the last time. So it was the last time this character ever appeared. In Super Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. Super Mario Kart. Was that for Super Nintendo? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Mike. A <laughs> uh, wart. It's an old character. No, Mike. Mike. <sighs> the, look, the only character I could think, well, well, I don't know, but is it? it could it be Donkey Kong Jr.? Oh, he's got it. He's well, got that, it. Well, then that's, that's not correct, though. Well, it not, is actually. That's yeah, not, yeah. Because Donkey yeah. Kong Jr. has been in several mm, games, including yeah, Mario was... Tennis 64. Yes, but so, he was in that before he No, no that was yeah, definitely was... after. So. Okay, no, okay, actually, okay. He was. <laughs> definitely after Super Mario <laughs> Kart. Well done. <laughs> so I almost wrong. didn't say Donkey Kong Jr. because so I knew I it was wrong, wrong, but I thought you would have gotten it wrong. No, Donkey Kong Sr. was not in that game. Okay, he was. Pause, in the back. Pause. Tom, you know very well that this is BS. There's, there's no point. DS, there's you no mean point Nintendo point. DS. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong, false. It's actually pronounced DS. <laughs> okay. Go and it play is a Mario tie. Tennis. It is Go a and tie. play Goldeneye and I will be... <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat you in Mario I'll Tennis you as Donkey Kong Jr. I'll beat you as the tennis ball. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everybody, just <laughs> down. No, how Mike? can we Brawl. trust any of these? No, all, 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 all we need. You don't even know the porn. <laughs> okay, you need to quiz master. Some more professionalism. Some more professionalism. <laughs> Sorry, but you just pushed contestant. My mom's. As a producer, there, I'd be normally stepping in and we'd go to an Abraham and go, hey, you yep. can't talk to the... the, the, the yep. You can't talk to Larry Emder like that. I understand. Yep. <laughs> no, yep. You're, you're Got Larry Emder. You're Larry M. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Mike, you cannot talk to Larry like that. He's had yep. a long day. He has to do yeah, ten of these. He's doing five of these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in one city. Yeah. Might look fun, but it's back to back to the living hell for him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in the back. He's got a tiny green room yeah, akin exactly. to a me- mid-priced yeah. caravan. Mm. And he's he doing the morning there. show on top of this. It's, he it's stares a at the hellish whole, week. A handsome man in stage makeup with a single tear rolling down his face, so, gives it a pat, has so, some clear eyes, two Red perfect. Bulls, he's back on. Exactly. So, okay, Mark, you, so can lay off talk, you can't talk to Larry like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Scores are level. <laughs> Right, so this the is Tom to for the Mike. win. This is, I'm, think, I'm, I'm running out of questions, so this is I think it's win. back to Mike, isn't it? Did we just um, give that last one a Why don't we just make it a buzz he, in for the, for the win? Okay. Ooh, 
Come on. Okay, buzz in for the win. You, actually, let's give <laughs> Tom enough. the benefit of the doubt. We have had enough of this. Tom. <laughs> it's, the benefit of what doubt? It's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just, <laughs> okay. All right, buzz in with your name. The, the benefit of Andy's boredom. <laughs> buzz in. Do you want to buzz in? Buzz in with your name. This is, again, if this was Price is Right, the producer goes, you know, we've had enough of this. Let's just go to the showcase. <laughs> <laughs> but we're only 14 minutes into the episode. Yeah, yeah. I've had enough of this episode. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll, this is a, um, this is, there's two answers required here. Mm-hmm. So you're going to buzz in and give us both correct. Okay. Before becoming playable characters, King bob and Wiggler appeared as boss fights in which game? Mike. 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 Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo That is incorrect. Ah. Incorrect, which gives Tom the chance here. What game did King bob and Wiggler appear in as boss fights? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Maybe I'll get it. I know. I'm going to go with Super Mario Odyssey. Back to Mike. Super Mario Galaxies 1 and 2. False and false. Oh, oh. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's place. getting anything. That's it. You can't say you like Mario, Tom. You're no good either. And this is it. <laughs> Let Larry go. Hey, hey, if, if I may protest, you did give a point to Mike for telling you, like, he said he got the answer wrong. Hey, so Tom. in the end, I should win 2-1. Hey, I'm protest. leading 2-1. Tom, yeah, Tom, Tom, you're not protesting? And... <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? All right, final Tom, question. <laughs> Mario <or> Luigi. <laughs> and why? Bad luck, Tom. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. It was Mario Kart DS mission mode, you idiots. Blakey. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>